So we all know about Derek Barnett's production at Tennessee. We all know that he surpassed Reggie White's all-time sack record while with the Volunteers, while in Rocky Top. The production, obviously, there at the SEC level, 13 sacks this past season, 19 tackles for loss. That's extraordinary. So we know what he can do, but is it going to translate to the NFL level? Is he going to be as dominant as Reggie White? We shall find out. Let's look at some tape. This is your first installment of the 2017 Eagles NFL Draft Film Study Series, brought to you by me, Adrian Fedq of the Bitter Birds, AffiliateInfluencer.com. Let's get into the tape study right now. The first thing we're going to get into is what Derek Barnett does best, bending the edge. Bend it like Barnett. He times his snap count perfectly, and the way he can turn that corner, bend the edge against that left tackle, Absolutely extraordinary. Let's take a look at some clips. So these first two clips right here. First of all, this is Cam Robinson, first team All-American. No big deal out of Alabama. Oh my god. And this second clip here. Barnett gets to the quarterback quicker than a Chip Kelly three and out. So you look at the skill set here, his ability to bend the edge. Great bend and burst off the snap. Shoulder dip to get under the hands of a blocker. That's insane. And once he gets past that tackle, he turns on the Jets to get to the quarterback. And a couple more examples here, where he forces the quarterback to step up into the pocket, forces him to make a decisive decision, not worry about mechanics necessarily because he's thinking of something else. He's thinking of the rusher, he's thinking of Barnett. That leads to an interception here along the left sideline. Here's another example. Trevor Knight has to step up into the pocket, gains only two yards. And another one here. So Barnett collapses the pocket, Forces the quarterback out on the boundary. Quarterback steps up. Incomplete pass. That's all Derek Barnett. So Barnett can do a little bit more than just bend the edge. He's got a variety of different pass rushing moves. Another one that he likes to go to, splitting the gap between the tackle and the guard using the swim move. And once he gets into the backfield, another instance of where he can close in on the quarterback in a hurry. Let's take a look at some of these clips. So what Barnett does really, really well, he uses his hands. They're strong, they're lethal. He packs a punch. He's a punch and discard winner. And that's what we saw in that first clip there. But these other clips where he times his snap, he beats the tackle with the quick inside move, with the swim move, and hits the quarterback upon his release. Forces the interception there in the last clip, forces the incompletion here. And on this play, he blows up a potential screen play. Gets to the quarterback, the rest of his teammates converge in on the running back. Let's get into a little run defense now. Derek Barnett, let's talk about setting the edge. Now, I think his run defense has a little bit left to be desired. I think there could be improvements made in this area, but I do think he can set the edge very well. And I talked about how great his hands are and how he packs a punch and he really uses his strong hands when it comes to setting the edge and steering his tackle wherever he wants him to go. I've got four clips for you guys here of Barnett setting the edge. First one here, stringing the run out to the left boundary magnificently. That was a loss of four. End around here, Barnett sets the edge again, forces the ball carrier to reverse field. That's a no gain. This is an instance where he punches, he discards, and he makes the tackle after setting the edge. Last clip, the running back forced to cut back, which results into a minimal gain. I've got a couple more clips for you here, Barnett, in run defense, showing you some plays down the line that he made, and another instance where he splits the gap, gets into the backfield, but instead of closing in on the quarterback, he closes in on the running back to make the play and make the tackle for loss. So let's show you some of those. The biggest knock of number one overall pick, Miles Garrett, is his effort. Well, you're not going to see a lack of effort from Derek Barnett. His motor runs hot constantly. Now here, this second clip here, stack and shed, make the play on the ball carrier. Here's him on the edge, Trevor Knight, tried to cut back, nope, not going to happen. Splits the gap here, gets into the backfield, tackle for loss for Barnett. What you're about to see in Barnett's next couple clips is his football IQ, how aware he is out there when he's out on the football field. He's very instinctive. Look at Barnett's awareness here on the first play. Doesn't bite on the play action bootleg to the left. Pass gets batted up in the air. Barnett with the interception. And here we go. The J.J. Watt clinic. 
bat down at the line of scrimmage. Here's another clip of it. J.J. Watt's been doing a tremendous job of this over the last couple of years, batting down passes at the line of scrimmage. Barnett can do it as well. And this is just really cool, this clip. Barnett lined up in coverage against the running back, and he makes the play. Who says he's not athletic? On to some weaknesses now about Barnett in his game. Not everything is sugar and rainbows. One of the things I've noticed on tape in run defense, he gets a little bit too aggressive. He goes after the quarterback. He has a lightning quick first step. So what that means is, well, sometimes he gets himself too far upfield, which leads to big gains in the running game. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Due to Barnett's overaggression, I got a pair of clips from Tennessee's game against Texas A&M earlier this season. This is Trey Williams breaking off a long run after Barnett overpursues, gets too far upfield. Here's another instance. Barnett gets too far upfield. A couple nifty cuts there by the running back Williams and a big gain. Jalen Hurts, quarterback draw. Barnett, a little bit too far upfield there off his initial uh, step off the line of scrimmage. Doesn't hold the edge on these next two clips and easy runs for the running backs to the outside, uh, bouncing it along the boundary. So uh, a couple instances here where Barnett did not win the play. Now on to the biggest knock of Barnett. It's his lack of of athleticism. Didn't really test well at the scouting combine. Athleticism, you can argue whether or not it's really beneficial. He plays with heart. He plays with motor. He's got passion. So I think that'll translate. But I do have some clips here where his lack of athleticism does show a little bit. I've got three clips here. But basically what I noticed with Barnett, whenever he's out on the edge, on the perimeter, whenever he gets matched one-on-one -on -one against a running back or a playmaker, I don't usually see him make the play. Due to Barnett's aggression, due to his propensity of trying to get upfield as quickly as possible, timing the snap count, sometimes he bites himself in the ass. Sometimes he gets called for offsides penalties, encroachment penalties, because he's so worried about getting off the line of scrimmage so quickly. Uh, sometimes he costs himself five yards. I've got two quick clips illustrating this. Pretty self-explanatory. You jump, you get flagged. All right, so that wraps up the first film study of the 2017 Eagles NFL Draft class. To kind of wrap it up on Barnett, I think he's going to be a really, really good player. I don't think he's going to be a superstar. It was the safe pick in the first round. You kind of know what you're going to get from him. I don't think he has that high ceiling like a Miles Garrett. He doesn't have all the potential in the world, but he's going to be about an 8-10 to 10 sack guy. He's going to go to some Pro Bowls. I don't think he's ever going to be an All-Pro, but I think he's going to go to some Pro Bowls. He's going to be a really, really good player at the next level. He really knows how to get after the quarterback. He's a fit here, rushing out of that wide nine technique. That's what he did at Tennessee. So as long as Jim Schwartz stays here in Philadelphia as long as possible, uh, Barnett, he's a fit. And he's going to get after the quarterback. It's going to help out the secondary. It was a good pickup for the Eagles in the first round. Would it have been my pick? No. But it was solid. And it's a lot better than drafting a fireman or overreaching for Marcus Smith.